conservation is very important. If we don't start to conserve our natural resources and our, our wild areas, it won't be around very much longer. As a small organization, it's amazing the success we've been able to have in such a short period of time against such, you know, unbelievable odds. If I had to give advice on, on owning, operating, and running a reptile business, um, the one piece of advice I would have is not to lose sight of the reason you got into it in the first place. So this particular species, uh, Hyalina matracheum valerie, is one of my favorite frog species. Uh, I even named my daughter after her, her name is Valerie. In an average year, we produce about 10,000 dragons here at Sandfire, uh, plus or minus 1,000 here or there. I specialize in the crested gecko. I would say we've maybe got between 150 and 200 adult breeding retics. I think we've got about 700 adult female ball pythons and then uh, about 30 adult breeding some of the stuff we specialize in here are the European tortoises. We breed quite a few different species of testudo. Under our care now, we have around 200 animals. Our boys have a, a great appreciation for the reptiles and protecting their environment more than anything. Nerd has some pretty humble, pathetic beginnings. It is the largest reptile breeding facility in the Northeast, and that's where I breed my thousands of animals and make some cool new stuff that I get to show off to the rest of the world. The reptile industry has grown into a sophisticated and independent $3 billion a year uh, industry. I'm not really sure why there hasn't been more women in herps in the past, but that's definitely changing. Um, it's not just for boys anymore.